Hello there, welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you an air rifle that I've literally traveled around the world with. I've watched it being fired in competition. I've watched the technological developments of it over the last few years. Its first public outing was a 303 caliber, but now we've got the B-Type. Yes, it's the Daystate Wolverine B-Type, and this one's the 177 caliber. And it's a whole new breed of animal, driven by a new heart. The pumping heart is encased in this Turkish walnut stock, which is like a velvet fur to the touch. And what about the heart of the beast? Well, it's a whole new breed from any earlier day state, with a complete internal redesign. The looks, well, some might say it looks like a ranger. And the airwolf. Yes. Yes, it does. But really, that's where the similarity ends. Some might say it's a wolverine in wolf's clothing. The layout is a traditional day state one, which just works. And that is a design which is loved all over the world. After all, it is a bottle gun or an air rifle with a dirty great air bottle sticking out the front of it, because it gives a massive shot count. So why mess with the stock that works and the shot count that many want? With its 400cc bottle, a shot count of 200 in 177 caliber and 250 in 22 brings a smile to the face. The free floating barrel on the Wolverine not only adds to the elegance, it actually has built-in sound moderators as well. However, it's still threaded should you wish to add an optional silencer. Apart from the 303 caliber, the internals of the new Daystate Wolverine are completely new. And if you want to have a look at that in more detail, there's a video on screen now, which is something that I filmed with Ted from Ted's Holdover and Tony Bilas of Daystate at the 2013 Midland Game Fair. And in that video, they take the two apart in detail to look at the differences. So if you want to see more, click there. Technology comes in many forms and bolt open safety is one. You can make this rifle safe in two ways. First way, dead simple, bolt open. You cannot fire the rifle with the bolt open. Or you can use the standard safety switch, which is at the rear of the breech. The Wolverine B, in many ways, is a scaled down version of the Wolverine 303, which has been running these new developments for 18 months now. The anti-reload system is also genius. Every time the rifle is fired, the air expelled behind the pellet is not wasted. It's recycled and used to prepare the spring-loaded magazine for the next shot. The air fires this small pin upwards to engage with the underside of the magazine. And we have tried and tried and tried. Even with a 200 <coughs> frames per second slow motion camera, we cannot capture this action. If you don't fire, the magazine will not rotate because no air has been expelled to engage the pin. Hence, the magazine will not rotate, allowing the next pellet to be loaded. Thus, no double loading. So simple. Can you imagine the time taken in valve development and research to get this feature just right? It's amazing. And what about accuracy, I hear you shouting? Well, I posted a video about eight weeks ago showing the rifle as it had come straight out of the box. And at 49 yards, the groupings I was getting was blowing my socks off. At 49 yards, I get a group under 1.8 centimeters wide. One has even gone through the same hole. That's a kill, time and time again. What about 30 meters? Well, it's a very similar story. But 
but the group is much tighter. In fact, it's just one hole. The new Wolverine is a 10 shot or single shot air rifle and it has a beautifully crisp two stage trigger. The all new black magazine feels solid and is easier to load than its predecessor thanks to the cutout section. Some earlier magazines are compatible with this rifle, but I suggest checking with the fountain of Daystate knowledge first, the Daystate Owners Club, where they can answer everything Daystate for you. Have I mentioned our website yet? Well, I'm going to do that now. Check out our website with links to some of the best air gun stuff from all over the world. And we have a new forum, which can be used for everything air gun. So check us out. Have you subscribed? No? Well, why not? Press that subscribe button. I do this for free, you know. It's my hobby. And if you like, you can press the thumbs up button. But the video doesn't finish there. The Wolverine's got more to tell you. Like the fact you can actually change the bolt from right-handed to left-handed on your own. It's easy. You do it with an Allen key and a flathead screwdriver. It takes about 10-15 minutes. I have speeded this footage up. But it's dead simple to do. And what about power? Well, over a five shot group, I'm getting an average of 734.14 feet per second, or 10.10 foot pounds, 13.7 joules. And that's less than 10 feet per second spread over those five shots, straight out of the box. I mustn't forget to tell you that overall, the rifle is 107 centimeters in length with 43 centimetres of that being the barrel, and it does weigh 3.3 kilos. So it is a heavier rifle, but none of that weight is wasted. So what do I think of the Daystate Wolverine B? It's good. In fact, it's better than that. It's crazy good. I have used this and watched it being used in all situations over the past few months, in high power and in sub 12 foot pound. It's worked faultlessly every single time, and it's effortless to use. It's actually a technological leap in the world of air guns. And if I'm honest with you, I think it outshoots me now. I'm a dinosaur in an iPad world. I'm never going to catch up with the beauty of the Wolverine B-Type, but I do hope one day to be able to shoot as excellent as this does. If you would like to see more on this rifle, click on one of the videos on the screen now and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.